Nelson, just this afternoon, another shooting near 76th and Troost, where a gunman entered business, opening fire and killing an employee before turning the gun on himself. 41 Action News reporter Lisa Benson talked with witnesses as family members fear for the worst, waiting for that victim to be identified. Police cruisers and crime scene tape surrounded the 7th Heaven on 76th and Truce this afternoon. Tempe Lang's daughter works inside. I just come up here to bring my grandson to her because she didn't have him at work with her. Tormented by fear, Lang eventually saw her daughter standing outside 7th Heaven. Her thoughts immediately turned to the man and woman who were dead inside. Other families soon arrived looking for answers. I heard that somebody got shot. I heard my sister got shot. We've been calling her. We've been calling her job, having nobody answers. According to witnesses, a man walked into 7th Heaven just before 1 o'clock. An employee told him that he's not supposed to be there, but he proceeded downstairs anyway. Seconds later, they heard gunfire. There was a scream. Uh, a friend of mine said, uh, let's go see what's going on. But as soon as we started to walk down that way to make sure there wasn't a lady being slept around or anything, shots were being fired and everybody started running out of the building. Police tell us the gunman then shot himself. Just yards from the crime scene, Jackson County Prosecutor Gene Peters Baker shared words with family members as they waited to find out if their loved one is dead. It's a crime scene and can't nobody talk to nobody and tell us anything and either confirm that she's okay or like something. Like, because we got to tell her five children, 